Hey everybody, this is John with Freshwater Systems. Today we've got a little project. We're going to test some of the most popular and leading water filter pitchers that are in the marketplace. We started with a big list of pitchers to evaluate and we narrowed it down to five of our favorites. We are a water treatment company and we felt that this would be an easy evaluation for us to do because we understand how to read spec sheets, we understand what we're looking for in terms of process filtration and ease of use. And we're hoping to be able to do this evaluation to give you a helping hand on selecting the pitcher that fits your needs as well as your budget. We selected eight popular filter pitchers. We tested and compared them and chose five from the bunch with the best features, the best reductions, and the greatest capabilities for their price. We chose the Seychelles for its claims to raise pH. The Clearleaf filtered for its updated design and extensive contaminant reduction. The Brita Monterey Long Last for its special durable filter and its design. The Zero Water Pitcher because it claims to reduce TDS to zero. And finally, the Pure Filter for its lead reduction and it's probably one of the most popular search for pitchers. So we are reviewing these five pitchers based on ease of use, speed, design, how they filter, and ultimately the taste. And we're going to award each pitcher for its best application. To help me evaluate these pitchers, I've recruited five of our freshwater systems staff. We have Jason, a senior water specialist with the Seychelle pitcher. Sean, another water specialist with the Clearly Filtered pitcher. Jessica is a customer service representative with the Brita Monterey pitcher. Savannah is our sales recruiting manager. She's evaluating the Pure Water pitcher. And Ryan, a product strategy analyst with the Zero Water pitcher. Purchasing a pitcher filter is for good water and it's got to be simple. Complex assemblies or filter changes can ruin the deal. We're asking our expert panel to see how easy it is and how fast they can assemble these pitchers out of the box. You put your hands on the table. The first one to assemble their filter, stand up and get set. And go. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. You broke kind of. No, come on. There we go. Water filter pitchers are an incredibly convenient way to filter water to drink. We're going to test these filters to see how long it takes for a glass of water to filter through the process. They can be really convenient but frustrating if they take a really long time. But keep in mind that the length of time going through the filter doesn't necessarily tell us how well the system is filtering because good filtration takes good contact time. Now our panel of judges are going to challenge these pitchers with a glass of water and we're going to time to see how long it takes for it to go through the filtration process.
How well the filter filters is the ultimate priority in evaluating the performance of a filter. But also important with a pitcher filter is how easy is it to use? Does it hold well by the handle? Is it cumbersome? And if it isn't, it's going to get bad reviews. So we're going to evaluate how easy it is to hold the handle, how easy it is to, to pour, and any other features that they advertise. All right, so this is the Satial Water Pitcher. It's got a good grip on the handle and actually does a pretty decent pour. Features on this is you can actually pour from the top and you don't actually have to take out the lid, but unfortunately to remove the lid, it is a little bit of a, a strain. So that's something to be prepared for, but other than that, well designed. All right, so I'm gonna be pouring the clearly filtered pitcher here, which I might add here that the, the grip is, is kind of nice. It's bigger, easy, easy to hold. Uh, I'm going to try this one-handed just to make sure I can do it. The pour is, is very nice and smooth. No issues. Pop, top didn't move whatsoever. I didn't have to use this, uh, the other hand. Uh, I will note that there's no indicator, light, or what have you, any technology that's going to help you know to change the filter. So all in all, it seemed like the pour was great. This model does have in their design uh, a way to separate both the old water uh, and your filtered water. Um, so you can actually pour while it's being filtered without anything um, kind of bypassing or, or getting in your cup. So, but all in all, it was a great experience. This is the Brita Long Last Filter. It's a little heavy, but it's got a good shape to it. The handle's pretty comfortable as far as pouring. So if there's any water in here, this comes up while you're pouring, and that could be inconvenient. And it does have this nice little feature on top that tells you when you need to change your filter. Um, you do kind of have to put a little ump into it when you're pouring it over, but all in all, pretty comfortable. So this pure pitcher filter is kind of cute. I think it would be nice and compact in the fridge. It's a little awkward to pour earlier. The lid was falling off. Oh my God. <laughs> the filter's falling out. Um, but I like that. Um, it looks like it lights up when I open this up, which is kind of interesting. And um, overall, I mean, it's fairly easy to hold, fairly easy to operate, so I like that. And the water tastes fine. <laughs> All right, so this is the Zero Water Filter Pitcher. Um, it look, has a nice look to it. Would it be a good accessory in any fridge? Uh, it's pretty comfortable to use. Has a nice water flow, not too heavy. Uh, one of the cool features of this pitcher is that it comes with a TDS meter. So uh, this will allow you to check your water to make sure um, that your filter doesn't need to be replaced. So that's a nice accessory. Overall, it's a good product. Now we're going to evaluate the most important thing, and that's how well these filters filter. It's very important to understand these filters are designed to make good water better. We're not trying to tell you to go down and dip water out of the pond and run it through these filters. They're not equipped for that kind of filtration. We're using Greenville City tap water, which is pretty good quality to begin with. We can't send the water to a laboratory to test all the claims these manufacturers make, but we can test for certain things on some equipment and test strips that we have here. We're gonna be able to test for pH level and alkalinity as well as dissolved solids or TDS and kind of that taste and odor test by our taste buds and our noses. Two of the processes that we're going to use to test these filters is a TDS meter and it's important that we use a TDS meter because a couple of these pitchers claim mineral reduction and we can find out how much of that mineral reduction happens by the use of this TDS meter. In fact, this particular meter came with the zero water pitcher. 
What it does is it tests for the amount of mineral by conductivity, and it's a very easy test to do. We simply turn it on and put it in water, and it gives us the result. The other test that we're able to do is uh, a multi-test strip that's going to give us results for pH level, alkalinity, and hardness. Since hardness is really not under scrutiny here, we're just looking at the pH and the alkalinity. And it's a simple test to perform. We take one of these multi-pad test strips and we're literally going to just dip it in the water and let it sit for about 20-30 seconds and then we're going to compare it to the color chart on the label. And that's going to give us a pretty decent accuracy as far as pH, alkalinity, and hardness. Most pitcher filters have a carbon-based filter. This is going to get chlorine out. Our challenge water doesn't have a great deal of chlorine in it, so taste is going to be somewhat objectionable. We're going to ask them to, to taste both filtered and unfiltered water to see if they can taste the difference. Secondly, we have poured colored soda into these pitchers, and we'll do this taste test again once the pitchers have filtered that. Jason? Hold out your, your drinking can. Here is sample number one. Okay. Number two is definitely the unfiltered water. You have a very good palate. Sample number one. All right. Sample number one yes. tastes better. It's, uh, I, is that the filter? You have a good palate. Ah. Okay. They're both really close. Um, is number two filtered? Number two is filtered. Good job. Mm. So far, our expert panel is 100%. You have your hand. There is sample number one. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to say sample number two is filtered. You are correct. We're still 100%. All right, Ryan. I'm say sample two was filtered. 100%, our panel of experts has a very discerning hey. out. High five! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see the comparison. We poured red soda into this water pitcher and there isn't that much of a difference in color at all. A very slight tint. That tastes like a sugary, uncarbonated soda, is what that tastes like. So not very much filtration has happened at all. All right, and uh, here we have green soda, believe it or not. And as you can see, it uh, definitely made a difference just right off the bat. That looks like some tasty water. Voila, magic. And Oh. <laughs> it tastes like water, but with 
and put sugar in it. Like just sugar water, no carbonation, and not good. <laughs> but impressive. <laughs> Okay, I had the red soda as well. It did a little bit better job than Jason's, as you can see, fancy through it. Oh. But it still has enough tint of color. And again, it tastes like sugar water. <laughs> Okay, let's see how this one turned out. Okay, I'm gonna try the both for comparison. All right. It's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it barely even tastes like sugar, but I probably shouldn't have started with the sugar. Soda. <laughs> Not good. Wouldn't recommend. Alright, so let's see how this one fared out. We poured the red, red soda in there, and as you can see, it looks pretty clear. Definitely the clearest for the red, out of the red sodas. I don't know if I need to hold this up. Obviously a difference. Yeah, so you can definitely taste, it, it tastes like water, but it does have a little sugar in it. Um, so yeah, I think it did pretty well, considering. Great job! Yay! We gave the Seychelle Pitcher uh, our best award for coffee because the Seychelle Pitcher adds mineral and adds pH which is the best water for coffee. Coffee likes to have a little mineral content. This pitcher provided it. We gave the clearly filtered pitcher the design award, which really for our little contest here, this is the highest achiever. And it's because it does a few things. If you recall in our soda test, it pulled virtually all the color out of the water. Well, that's because it has a special blend or patented ion exchange resin in conjunction with the carbon. It has the biggest list of contaminant reductions, including fluoride. And a cool feature of this pitcher is you can actually be filtering water and pour filtered water out of it, where most of your other pitchers, if you try to pour water out of it while it's still filtering, you're going to get unfiltered water into your glass. This one only allows water from the lower reservoir to come out the spout. We thought that was a pretty good design. The Brita filter pitcher got our best rating for lead reduction. We had originally bought another pitcher based on lead specs, and when we got the Brita, we actually saw that in their spec sheet, this had a broader pH range for lead reduction, so it got that top award. A cool feature of the Brita, it's got a little timer up here to let you know to change that filter, and that is so important that filters get replaced when they're supposed to. The Pure Filter got our rating for best bacteria reduction. And this is because this one rated very high for cyst reduction. Not a lot of these pitchers have any kind of microbiologic reduction claims. The Pure had a cyst reduction and we like that very much for this filter. This one also has a monitor to let you know when it's time to change the filter. That's a cool feature. We gave the Zero Water Pitcher our best rating for contaminant reduction. The reason is the ion exchange resin in this cartridge pulls out both cations and anions to give us a more thorough reduction. In conjunction with the carbon that's in here, we get things like chlorine and organic reduction. The Zero does a great job across the board. If you recall our soda test, the Zero water pulled out all the color and it pulled out some of the sugar. Not only that, Zero water gives you a TDS meter so that you can test it to see for yourself. Well, thank you for watching our filter picture comparison. Be sure and make some comments below. We'd love to hear them. Like our video and subscribe to our channel and check us out on our website at freshwatersystems.com.